Hey y'all, I'm making this quick video today um, to explain to you what's going on with CERN. Um, what you have to know is that CERN isn't the only particle accelerator on the planet. There's quite a few of them. You can go look up the list. Um, it's definitely not the first one. Uh, there's also one in Brookhaven, New York. And then uh, in the ancients back in the day with Atlantis and everything, they had particle accelerators back then too. But of course they were way more advanced. Okay. Um, now, that being said, this goes into my video of why the observatories have been shut down. Because they need to open portals um, to enable uh, the UFOs to come down here. Sika Zen Wombs, she's talking about it right now. I've been following CERN ever since um, before Fukushima. I've been following CERN since they first turned it on in 2006 and I learned a lot more about everything since then uh, like they weren't looking up the God particle they were looking up the God damned particle that means they're, they're looking up the curse the original curse of death the original curse that was given from the true heavenly father to man and evil or satan whatever you want to call them that's what they were looking for so they weren't looking for proof of the father they know he exists they were looking for how to unlock the gates or portal to the destroyer and in case y'all didn't know this um, CERN sits on top of a site that was a ritual site that was a worship site for an ancient god named Cernunos okay um, now, CERN is turning on, and it's going to be at high velocity, velocity, high tera electron volts, which is, I believe, 20 to 22 tera electron volts, which isn't it funny? There's 22 letters in uh, the Hebrew uh, alphabet, and they're going to run this high for the next three years. They're going to, they're turning it on today. And they're going to run 22 tera electron volts. That's 2022 trillion or no, 2022 billion, billion, billion worth of energy. That is 22 times more powerful than the sun. And I believe it's two hundred million to two billion more times powerful than the earth's core so that being said all this energy they needed to open the portal to open the abyss to a polyon or apollo um or Badon, as they call them, or Cernunos. Um, and they know what they're doing is destroy, is going to destroy everything. They know this. They understand that well. They worship insanity, depravity, well, depra insanity, depravity, and death. They worship them. Those three ideologies, those three concepts, they worship them. They're seeking to make order out of chaos. 
Um, or at least that's what they want certain ones who are working with them to think. But I don't believe they want any order out that's going to come out of this chaos. I think they just want chaos and they want the old ones, the ones they, t they tell us that, you know, with HP Lovecraft and whatnot, that they don't exist, but I've experienced them. They want them to come here. They want them to rule over the chaos. There won't be any order ever again if these beings come here. And the and the thing that is going to uh, uh, come before them are the UFOs. Because the UFOs are going to... I'm not giving a time. I'm not giving a day. I'm not giving a date of when this going to happen. I'm not going to do that. Okay, sometime in between now and 2025, which it may be 2024, I'm not giving a date, I'm just speculating that it may be 2024 because I charted from 2017 to 2024 is um, the cycle of the solar e and lunar eclipse. There have been seven solar eclipses and there have been 14 lunar eclipses since almost since 2017 in 2024 that will be the seventh and final solar eclipse okay and that will mark a seven year period if y'all remember the uh treaty between iran and america the nuclear arms treaty was signed in 2017 and it's set to be broken in 2024. Okay. Now in 2024 in the state I live in, I live in Illinois. Um, it's going to be an X marks the spot from the 2017. Uh, it came like this 2017 solar eclipse and the next one in 2024 is going to come like this is an x okay in 2024 um there's a lot of shit that's coming down in 2024 a lot of stuff a lot of stuff okay so that being said that's why they closed the observatories because they knew that, uh, and also that's another reason why they're closing um, <clears throat> all of the uh, sacred sites um, in these forest preserves because they don't, they're, they're portals there too. The, every sacred site is a portal. That's where the thin is veiled. That's where you can go and get closer to the true Heavenly Father. See, I believe in the Bible. I believe in the true heavenly born son Emmanuel. So I say that's where you can go get closer to the true heavenly father. Um, or, well, that's where you can go get closer to your ancestors and the spirits and whatnot. Where the veil is thinnest. Okay. Um, they're closing those because they don't want people to be there. They don't want people who can stop what they're doing to be there, to stop what they're doing. They don't want uh, people <clears throat> um, to understand that evil is what they've been seeking this whole time. They know the true Heavenly Father exists, but they're in doubt. They're, they've always existed in doubt, not in faith. That's the whole thing. I know I'm turning y'all off from the Bible and this, that, and the third, but what you think you've seen with these four horsemen of the apocalypse riding is just getting started. Whether it's uh, been instituted by this world beast system or not, you have to understand that this world be system works for one entity and one entity only. And the Bible says that entity rules this world. And it's not the true heavenly father. And it's not the true heavenly born son Emmanuel. So who else could it be? 
Azazel, Semyaza, Satanael. Pick a name. God Rael. That's the real name of the serpent, not Lucifer. God Rael. Do y'all research. Anyway, y'all don't know that there's five Satans out there. Five. Five dollar. Five dollar foot Satans. Any, any, any. You ain't read the book of Enoch. You need to. It's the book of this generation. Most people don't even know what time we're in. Most people don't even know what year it is. They think we're in 2024. They don't understand that this is really 2448 AD and or CE because, you know, AD um, and no Domini is in the year of our Lord. And, you know, uh, they had they said we have to change this because we don't want people believing in the the true heavenly born son Emmanuel. Or that there is even one to begin with. So they changed it to CE, which is Common Era. So 2024 is really 2450 AD. And that goes from, I'm counting from 2450 um, BCE, which is before Common Era. Uh or BC before Christ, right? 2450 BC before Christ uh, was the Exodus of Moses. Zero was the middle point. That was the birth of Christ. That was the birth of the true heaven born son of Manuel. And from the year zero to now is 2450 AD. It's 2450 years. Okay. I'm letting y'all know that because you, you're going to need to know this because everything's going to become discombobulated. The I have a theory because they the the thing about the bible changes and yes there have been bible changes is that um they were seeing if they could supernaturally change the bible to see if they can this is not my words this is their words they want to see if they can make the words in the bible obsolete They want to see if they can erase the Bible. And in doing so, if you want to know how I got this uh, prophecy, uh, I got this prophecy from a pictograph um, from Nostradamus that I meditated on. And I was asking the Father, because way back in 2011, I asked the true Heavenly Father to know. To know everything. Oh boy. That's probably how I remote viewed Fukushima. Uh, so yeah. I can ask him to know anything. And he just tells me. He lets me know. He just. I, I get the information from. Feeling. It's a frequency. It's the frequency of truth. It's very. It's not hard to explain. But it's. Uh, it's more hard to understand if you don't have the mind to than to explain it. Remember, I'm an MK Ultra survivor. Remember that they put Azazel self-destructive programming in me. Not just put it in me. They stitched it into my soul. So, for those who say it's so easy for me to do this, that, and the third, and thus and so, well... You didn't experience what I experienced, and you didn't have to come out of it, and still are still fighting it to this day. 
you can kind of see me as uh 11 like an older version of her like a different version of her my name has 22 letters in it by the way my full name but in hebrew my name is four 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 three fours that's 12 i'm 12 years younger than my oldest younger brother who was born in 75 in 75 12 years before i was born they brought somebody back from the moon a woman from a spaceship that they found ask Tony Pettis or whatever the fuck his name is why did they destroy the technology to go back to the moon and then why did they tell why did he in that interview tell us that it's too expensive to build that technology back But now, America is supposedly making new technology to go back to the moon. Hmm? Why is the earth photoshopped? And when you look up the term, the definition of the term photoshop, it means to alter an image. Usually with, it doesn't even say usually. It says to alter an image with malicious intent. So Earth is Photoshop and the and and the definition of Photoshop is to alter um an image with the or video with malicious intent. But there is no malicious intent to the blue marble photo. They are melting the ice walls while they're telling us that the ice walls don't exist. They've been melting the ice walls since 1920. Trying to. Why is there a treaty between all nations that control this world um, about Antarctica? But us as regular folk, we can't go there. And there's a woman whose dad was in the military. Who, her name is Jewel E. Stan. Uh, well, that's her name on Twitter. You can go look her, look her up. Jewel is J-U-L and then space capital E and then space Stan. She was a technical engineer until uh, 1980s. When she went and bought uh, the first geoengineered, or sorry, geoengineered, bioengineered um, tomato, the flavor saver tomatoes, and it wrecked her alimentary tract, wrecked her intestines, and messed with her genetics. That's when she stopped doing that and she started working on finding out what they're doing. That's when she found out about Peter Till. That's when she found out about uh, Georgie Porgy Church. That's when she found out about all of them and all this crazy fuck shit that they're doing. And when I say crazy, remember when I told you they worship insanity? That's the beginning. Because insanity leads to depravity and depravity leads to death. What kind of world are we in? So yes, I got on here to tell y'all all those things I just told you. And that um they are I had a dream in uh 2008 2007 that when I first started my spiritual awakening was supposed to start when I was 12 but it didn't because certain things happened I tried to be a Satanist this 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 and this yes I tried to become a Satanist y'all um then I started 
researching well i called myself a satanist and i was doing rituals and whatnot and going deeper down into the self-destructive hole that they put me in <clears throat> and then i started looking up hp lovecraft there's a reason that the bible says the imagination of men is evil If you want to know where this world is headed, definitely read your Bible with faith, not in doubt. Don't ask in doubt. Don't do anything in doubt. Do it in faith. And watch the movie called Into the Mouth of Madness. It's a movie adaptation of a book a novel by H.P. Lovecraft the funny thing is they like using writers the best people who can write that's how they came and tapped me on the shoulder to be a fucking vessel if you watch the movie you'll see in the movie that they're the author that this man is going to um he's a insurance adjuster or whatever and he's trying to get this all this done and whatnot um so this man trying to is trying to track down the author to find out what happened in this and the third the insurance adjuster now this man is very carnal he's a very material fleshly physical world type of individual the insurance adjuster uh or the insurance investigator um but when he finally meets this dude he's he's been through so much he's experienced so much that his mind begins to crack you you you're going to because he he was so physical he was so into this material plane that his he lost his plasticity in his brain and that's a lot of people nowadays that's a lot of people today they lost they've lost their mental plasticity they they've lost the mental faculty to be flexible with the sis- different situations and things that come up nowadays they can't be like water in their head anymore they they can only react one way and I'm not saying that we haven't been groomed, see, to react the way that we are, because we have. Um, I want to put my nose ring again. Hold on. That feels better. So. We've been groomed to think the way we think. We've been groomed to react the way we react. Since. um, Preschool. We've had this. Active denial system. That was set up in our brains. To where. If we hear something that doesn't go along with the authority because the teacher is the authority, right? Right. So, if the teacher says something, and this is how it used to go when you were in in preschool. Remember this? So, the teacher said something, and, you know, you three, four, five, three, four, you're five years old. And you running around having fun, ha, ha, ha. And, um... You're talking with one of your friends, and you know one of your friends just starts telling y'all stuff, and and uh, they say, well, that te- what that teacher said about um, where we come from is or or uh, what dino- dinosaurs are is a lie, because my mom said the Earth is only six thousand years old, and and the dinosaurs walked with people.
and you're like, that's not true. And then friend is like, uh huh. And then it's and then you know, you you're like, well, I'm gonna go tell Miss Williams you're lying, you know. And uh, the person nowadays, if somebody says that, um, guaranteed the parent will probably get in trouble and get a CPS call, right? So, uh, you were trained from preschool to not only listen to the teacher, the authority figure, the expert that's telling you thus and so. You were trained to report to them those who colored outside the lines, like me, like Jimmy Dore, like Sika. We didn't have the same thought process as you did. We didn't we didn't react to the lessons the same way as you did. And because of that, we were seen as problematic. We were the problem children. We were we were the yellow bus riders. We were the or the short yellow bus riders. We were those type of individuals, the special ed children, you know, and I definitely was putting in special ed because of my ADHD and my math. Uh, my math, medical computation was messed up because when they did what they did to me, they fucked up the logic portion of my brain. Now, it took me a while, a long time to get it back. I wouldn't have been able to go as far as I have in medical billing and coding, which I'm about to get my certificate. It took me 10 years, y'all. 10 years too long. And that's another thing. You know, it's people want to... Okay, so we've all been programmed, right? And, okay, even though you've been programmed, they've been programmed against you, you still want people to be people with you, right? That you still want people to see you as you see them. You still want to follow the rule of the Bible, of the true heavenly born son, Emmanuel, of the true heavenly father of us all, of the entirety of existence. You want to follow their rule of treating others as you would have them treat you. So, when you ask for um, support, when you ask for, you know, loyalty, when you ask just for support, not even loyalty or trust or any of that, because I don't ask people for that. That's given to me freely. You know what I'm saying? But when I ask for your support and you don't want to give me that support, it's like, so I've been criminalized um, and demonized. I've been, that's why they label us problem people. We're pro- we, we go from being problematic children to being problematic people and see we're not a problem for the masses we're not a problem for the majority we're not a we're, because we're for the people we don't see ourselves as different from other people it's it's the mass majority of people who other us so-called problematic people because the evil controllers, the evil power hungry megalomaniacs telling the mass majority to do so. Don't don't deal with her. If you wanna keep your life, if you wanna keep your all your pleasures, if you wanna if you wanna, you know what I'm saying, go higher, you won't deal with her. You gonna leave her alone. She's she she has been slated by our master to suffer and suffer she will. And if you want to join her, you're welcome. But if you don't, you won't help her. Y'all think that don't go on? You really think that don't happen? So, yes, um, damn, the video size is, is almost reached. With CERN, let me hurry up and say this. CERN, they're going to, what they're doing 
Oh, shit, I didn't even... I'm going to make a part two. I'm going to make a part two and I'm going to come back, okay? Because y'all really need to hear this. About this dream I had. Alright, let me get out of here. I love y'all. Watch out for part two. I'm finna go make it now. Bye.